In perfect competition, firms are characterized as price taker. What I mean by price taker? It means that not a single firm can influence the price in the market, but the price is set by the market based on the laws of demand and supply. Therefore, if this is the market and this is my firm in a competitive market, we'll draw here our x-axis, which is quantity, or y-axis, which is the price. The same for my firm, x-axis is the quantity, y-axis is the price. In the market, we have our demand curve, which is downward sloped, and we have our upward sloped supply curve. The point of intersection between our demand curve and supply curve will give me the equilibrium point. And at this equilibrium point, I will get my equilibrium quantity and my equilibrium price. So I will take this equilibrium price horizontally till I go to the diagram of my firm. Then this will be my price because firms in perfect competition are price taker. What do you mean by price taker? They don't influence the price. Therefore, we will say here, this price, which is the horizontal line, is also called our demand curve, which is the same as the price, which is the same as marginal revenue. Therefore, in perfect competition, our demand curve is horizontal, not downward sloped. Why? Because they are price takers. Then our average total cost here, it will be U-shaped. And then my marginal cost will intersect my average total cost at the minimum point. What's our profit maximizing condition? Our profit maximizing condition is marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. Marginal revenue is the horizontal line and our marginal cost here is the Nike shape at this point. Therefore, I will go vertically and I will get here Q star. This will be my profit maximizing quantity. So at Q star, what do we have? We have price is equal to average total cost and average total cost is at minimum. Consequently, our profit is equal to zero. Therefore, we have zero economic profit or normal profit. In this example, we have our price is equal to average total cost. Consequently, we have zero economic profit. But we have another two scenarios. Either the price is bigger than average total cost or price is lower than average total cost. So let's check here. Let's assume that this is our average total cost. This is our marginal cost, which will intersect average total cost at minimum. Then our profit maximizing output is marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. At this point, our marginal revenue is the horizontal line, which is the price, which is our demand curve. And our marginal cost here is the Nike shape. So this will give me our profit maximizing output, which is Q star. Therefore, at Q star, I will check the point where it intersects our average total cost. And this will give me here my average total cost. As you see here, my price is bigger than average total cost. Therefore, if price is bigger than average total cost, it means that our profit will be bigger than zero. This means that we create economic profit or abnormal profit or supernormal profit. Our last scenario is if price is lower than average total cost. So let's assume here our average total cost is above our price or demand curve or marginal revenue, which is the horizontal line. And this is our marginal cost, which intersects average total cost at minimum. And then what's our profit maximizing output? Marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So I will look at the point of intersection between marginal revenue and marginal cost. At this point, I will get here my Q star. And then I will go up to the intersect with my average total cost. And this will give me my average total cost. Therefore, here you'll discover that my average total cost is bigger than price. So this means that we make a loss. Therefore, if price is lower than average total cost, it means that our profit will be lower than zero. It means it will be negative. Consequently, we make a loss.